So I just started this large painting. It's four by six feet. It's gonna be my first large one in the Globion series. I just finished this little one, um, the smallest one I've done in the Globion series. It's 14 by 11 inches. And I'm gonna maybe do something similar to this. I haven't decided if it's gonna be this purple bluish hue on top of the canopy or it's gonna be more pastel -y green. I'll sort of just play with it as I go. But what I've done so far is I've drawn two lines. The first is like the horizon, then the top where the, sorry, where the canopy starts. And then I'm doing this sort of like this base layer of, of colors. It's a bit of an experiment. I'm gonna to try to make it um, fill up all the white this time. And then later go in and start doing lots of little brush strokes, lots of little Surratt, Van Gogh, little, little designs. So. Okay, so that first base layer at the top is done. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline some of where I think the trees could go. And I'm going to start with a uh, darker color. Maybe this blue looks nice. And I'm just going to say, let's put one right here. This will be one of the larger ones. Maybe put Another one, not quite as large. Maybe that'll be our biggest one. And I'll put one like this, maybe one closer to it. It's almost as big. <clears throat> as you can see, I bring them down here further to sort of create a kind of perspective by having them look like they're closer. So the larger, closer, obviously. So they come down further and go up higher. Then maybe some of these little guys. Normally I like to put a different color, so I will. <laughs> Let's just pick one of these dark, how about this dark red? Maybe these ones will go here. I'm gonna step back a bit, see how it looks. Yeah, I think that'll work. smaller ones. Ah, fuck it, I'm gonna put a big one here. <clears throat> well, those would be the smallest ones. Just fill them in, why not? See what happens. <clears throat> yeah, let's just fill them in. Give it a branch. Oh, here's another larger, another larger one coming right here. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, you're going to come to here and semi-large one like that. small ones. I think we could use another one like this coming right not too far behind that guy. <clears throat> Let's put another one of these guys here. Another one of those guys. Good start. Okay, so just for the heck of it, let's start filling in those trees. I don't have any particular order that I do it. <clears throat> some brown, why not? Some brown with some white. <clears throat> I've got a palette area here where I mix colors, but sometimes it's just easier to do it straight on the canvas. There we go, right on the canvas. So let's just start filling in some of these big trees. And I'm not worrying too much about what it looks like just yet. 
because what I'm just doing is establishing the shapes. Here's another big one. I think I need more white. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make them these like uh, fake birch trees, <laughs> sort of imaginary birch trees. They're white, whitish with some brown. It's fun to do because I just sort of put some random shapes on it and somehow it just looks like a birch tree. I mean, I have looked at birch trees and sort of got a feel for how the f knots fold and these patches appear. Plus, I think I stole an idea from, I think it was Klimt's, one of Klimt's trees. I, I have to go back and try to find it. But he sort of put like um, dark and light splotches right next to each other. Okay, so this will be the other big tree. 